Hey guys, Frank Jones with Freedom Electric Marine. We get a lot of questions on the website. We get a lot of calls about different questions about how do you set up the boat. Um, and you can do it in so many different ways. So I use the boat in just about any type of water. So I wanted to quickly go over how my personal boat is set up. And so 90% of the time I'm by myself. So if you look at the boat here, I've got it with one seat and it's in the front seat position with the foot pedals up there so that this boat is perfectly flat when I'm in it. That's what you want. You don't want a lot of offset. So uh, you can sit in the back, prefer to sit in the middle with my setup. The other thing is you'll notice that I've got a Honda on here. The Honda I use in big bodies of water. So if I go to a reservoir and I want to fish the coves, I can fish 90% of the water that all those big bass boats are fishing and I use my little Honda to just get there. I get there, I just get there slower. And then the last thing I have on here that I wanted to point out real quickly is because I go to so many different types of water, I put a different depth finder on mine. So we provide a Lowrance 4-2 uh, hook, um, Lowrance depth finder, and it's got regular uh, diagonal view on it, and it's got a, a GPS on it. I wanted to get some side imaging on it because there's a lot of big reservoirs I go where there's a canal or something. I want to go down and find out a little bit more of that. So I have on mine a Hummingbird Helix 5. And so it's got a, a side view on it feature. But what it's got on here is how I mounted it. So I mounted it on a RAM mount. I bought all this stuff on Amazon. So, and you can go and pick one specifically for the depth finder you want. So that mount is specifically designated on the internet for a Hummingbird Helix 5. And then I ran the wires instead of inside the wire trough, I just ran them across the top of the rail and then I also have a Scotty mount with the side imaging you have to be behind the boat so that it can side imaging out so it can't do it to the transom so there's a little Scotty mount here that allows that transducer to sit in the water behind the boat and then you get the side imaging and it's it's a great little feature on that hummingbird so uh, again it's not one that everybody needs it's just that i go in so many different places that little helix 5 is uh, the right size and mounting up here closer to me uh, it's got so many more features that you want to be able to interact with the control. So that's it. Uh, that's my personal boat. Um, looking to hear from some of our owners about how they've set up their boats. So looking forward to seeing you on the water.